Well, hello there, and welcome to the shed. So lately, I have been a lot of uh, things to pick up to scrap. Um, as the value of scrap metal is going up, people are more aware that it has value and uh, less things are being thrown out than there normally would. So I haven't really picked up anything decent for a while, but today, the computer guy that rents an uh, office in our building, I heard him rummaging around the hallway, so I went out to see what he was up to, and he was actually cleaning out his office and getting rid of a bunch of e-waste type stuff. So I have a big cache of it now at my office at work, and I'll slowly start bringing it home. But he had a bunch of these uh, power supplies, which aren't really worth anything to uh, take them in. But I thought, well, why not micro scrap them? Obviously, we've got a bit of wire and stuff. So let's just micro scrap these things and see what we got. Because I got time. First off, all this electronic stuff uses smaller screws than normal. Which result to the micro scrapping tools. I think is metal. Yep. So that's no great windfall there. So what have we got inside? Well, we've got a transformer, a couple of small transformers. Uh, a couple of chokes and those yeah those aren't brass in there unfortunately but let's take what we can get here All this wire could go in my uh, junk wire barrel. And the tie wraps. Or most of them. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll just take the circuit board right out of there.
Okay, so that can go back in the jump middle. So there's our uh, junk wire. Uh, aluminum heat sink. Dusty. So think about these power supplies. They uh, they definitely soak up the dust. Wrapping gloves on here. We get a little frayed. I think a hammer might be the answer to those. Minuscule bit of aluminum. Oh, look at that. Dust off of that. There we go. bit of aluminum. Now this transformer Should be uh, core on these things. It's kind of a ferrite core, so it kind of self destructs. Why well, don't I get a knife?
And another layer of tape. And another layer of tape. Okay, so there's our copper out of that transformer. A little bit of number two. Uh, let's see, what else? to be had on this thing. Not a huge amount. Just unwind this off of the core. So one layer is a bit thick. It's about probably about a number, uh, uh, probably number 16 gauge. Probably what I should do rather than unravel it. Just bust that core. So there's the copper off of that. A little bit more number two.
and a bit more copper. So what else have we got here? These little teensy transformers, a bit of copper. different core on this one. Okay, well, I think the rest is junk. Oh, there's one more transformer. So we got a little bit of bare copper wire, a little bit of this junk copper wire, circuit board of no value, and uh, a couple little pieces of aluminum. So you can't say there wasn't anything in there, there just wasn't a whole lot. few more of them and actually he gave me a whole bunch of computers too so I'll drag those home and I'll uh, show the motherboards and the chips and, the, and uh, hopefully somebody can tell me if they're uh, worth anything so, but the good news was I did get this uh, UPS off them as well. So uh, UPS always has two things, battery and transformer. That is a circuit.
together here. Something. No screw. Oh, one more screw. So a bit more wire, junk wire, aka junk wire. That's molded right on there. So we'll just chop it off. Uh, extension cord. Well, those are brass. Chop that off. Throw it in the plug bucket. The cord. Circuit breaker, <laughs> which I'm not going to save. Okay, so here we have a transformer. Should be cocked. You'd be shocked if it was Chinese. The Chinese was sneaky though. Yeah, that's copper. It's probably yeah, it's probably not a pound in there. Maybe yeah, half a pound, maybe. Uh, a bit of a circuit board. Actually, there's another transformer on there. So we'll just take off what wire we can get. Check my volume. Good time to check it when I'm half done. Oh well. Okay, so. well, that came off pretty clean. I'm going to throw him in my uh, transformer bucket. Pieces of aluminum. Okay, they came off fairly easily, so we'll go with that. Okay, so I think that's definitely it. No. The battery should be in here. Let's figure how that guy comes out of there, though. Oh. 
That's rather strange. I think they plan on this battery being changed. The way this is constructed. There's our battery. It's probably uh, four pounds, 30 cents a pound, I think. Buck 20, buck 50, maybe. Put that on my battery pile. So there you have it. Just a bit of micro scrapping. Mainly because I didn't have anything else to scrap, but. So I've got more of those power supplies. And I've got a bunch of uh, computer accessories he gave me, like mouses and keyboards and stuff like that, but it's still new in the package. So I might try and sell some of that stuff on uh, Facebook Marketplace. We shall see. But anyways, not a lot in the micro scrap, but yeah, three more power supplies. It'll all add up. What else am I going to be doing? So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see everyone later.